Navigation in our region is the most important thing that that's how we survive in terms of typhoon that come and hits our island. Grand Master Navigator Cesario Sewalur shares deep-rooted lessons with Saipan youth after arriving from their two-month journey from Palau with Master Navigator Mario Benito and 11 traditional navigation students. The main purpose of the canoe is my father asked for it for a floating classroom for my communities and people. The Hawaiian canoe made of fiberglass was a gift to Cesario's father, legendary Micronesian master navigator Mao Piailog, who revived traditional wayfinding. The floating classroom, which Cesario uses to teach at Palau's community college, was built in the early 2000s. His brother, master navigator Antonio Piailog, carves canoes on Saipan and joined the community's welcome of the crew on Monday. The canoe is, um, we call it Messi. It's our culture. Yeah, if we know our culture, we have our identity. If we don't have our culture, we lost our identity. At 20 years old, Cesario's son, Moss, is also the youngest student on the voyage, marking his first trip to Saipan. In life, you just have to be patient on the canoe because, you know, it's in the open water. So you have to be patient. If you don't see land, just be patient. That patience was tested when it took 19 days to reach Yap from Palau. At times, they met calm water and still wind. For Jada Rabalaman, the trip to Saipan was 22 years in the making since she left at the age of four. It means a lot to me. My family is all here. I haven't seen them in a very long time, so it's good to reconnect, especially over something that is, uh, has value to our culture. The students braved the weather, took shifts to watch the boat, and fish for their food. They come from all walks of life. Age doesn't really matter on the water. It's more so a willingness to help one another and communicate efficiently. It was fun, honestly. The days kind of all blurred together, but we all worked different shifts. So it was good to see the different faces when they're awake and active and when they're resting. <laughs> They'll be making their way back to Palau in the next week. Tomas Manglonya, KUAM News, Saipan.